what, what's known about what we know about cancer is that the primary tumor rarely kills the patient. Um, cancer begins with a uh, single cell. Um, it can be an epithelial cell or it can be a soft tissue cell. And that cell will acquire mutations um, from the environment um, or in some cases it will have pre-existing mutations that are inherited. And it will transform and then that cell will uh, diversify and expand to form the tumor mass. Most uh, tools for analyzing tumors uh, operate on bulk uh, tissue samples. And so that's a mixture of uh, immunocytes and normal stroma and tumor cells. And the tumor cells can have different genetic mutations as well. And so when you analyze that tissue as, uh, as a bulk and you look, at, you look at an average signal of the tumor, and um, what you miss from that are rare cells in the population, which may be the most malignant. Um, and so what, we're, what we set out to do in this grant is we want to develop a tool to do uh, sequence single cells and uh, find all the mutations and genes and um, trace those single cells as they uh, leave the primary tumor site enter the circulatory system, and then form the metastatic tumors. So uh, funding from the Nadia's Gift Foundation to the Damon Runyon Radcliffe Innovation Award um, provides us with funding that we can use uh, to do some very risky, high-risk experiments that also potentially have um, a very big reward. And that's to develop a new single cell sequencing technology um, to sequence mutations in the exome of single cells. And then once we sequence multiple single cancer cells, um, we can compare the mutations and then reconstruct uh, the lineage of how those cells evolved. And so part, part one of this grant is to um, develop this new technology and validate it in cancer cell lines. Um, the second part of this grant is to actually apply that to human breast cancer patients, triple negative breast cancers. And what we will do is sequence single cells from the primary site, from the circulating tumor cells and also from the metastatic site, compare genetic mutations and that allows us to reconstruct the evolution and trace back um, how those cells evolved and disseminated within the tumor. So the tools we develop here, the single cell sequencing tools, um, they have, there are a number of clinical applications. Um, one is simply for uh, trying to be able to diagnose heterogeneity within tumors. And you might expect that if you can measure heterogeneity, you might be able to predict which tumors are more likely to be metastatic, invasive, or ha show poor response to chemotherapy. Um, the other big value of developing these tools is that it's a way to non-invasively monitor um, the tumor. So you can imagine just drawing a blood sample from a patient, and um, if you can sequence those few single circulating tumor cells, it might tell you what genetic mutations are present in the primary and the metastatic tumors.